Hi, and welcome to my cooking trouser press. Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you are well wherever you are in the world. Welcome to our kitchen. Imagine you're playing a pig-based kung fu video game and you've made it to the last level. You're about to face the Bacon Master. Yes, this is the Bacon Master and it is the first time I have ever done a gadget by Daewoo. Daewoo! Daewoo! No? Uh, I think they're a South Korean company that have been around for years and done loads of like appliances and things. I think they actually make cars as well. You can actually get cars with that logo on or something similar. They, you know, they're spreading out quite a bit. And I can see why you guys want me to try it out as I show the reflection of the box there. Wow, it kind of looks like, I don't know, like a rack, like a clothes rack for bacon. But it's basically a flat grill where you can cook. And I believe, although it does kind of look a little bit like a, a semi trouser press, you can fold it right down so you've got two flat grills as well. So we're gonna try and cook. Not only, look at that, the size of that egg. That is gigantic. We could try and make our own homemade enormous egg. We're gonna try and see if this thing works by both making a burger. So we're talking bacon, we're talking eggs, we're talking a brioche bun, we're gonna char some cheese on a patty that is super thick so we can test if this can cook long enough without charring. And it's supposed to have a drip tray, so it's supposed to be a teeny bit healthier. Uh, and and I, th I think it's gonna be all right. It kind of feels like a poor man's George Foreman in a way, rather than like the ridges that you get uh, on those grills for George Foreman. Uh, it's, it says virtually fat free. It's a smooth edge, perhaps it's slightly angled, which is really good for water runoff in general construction. Just a little bit of peace of mind if ever you do any sort of flat roofing and anything like that. And if all goes to plan, we'll have an amazing gooey cheesy bacon cheeseburger. Oh my, cheesy cheesy bacon cheeseburger. Ha! Oh, in a brioche bun, toasted. But we're also going to do a sweet brioche uh, with some caramelised pineapple. We'll try that too. Oh wow! I've got a gift voucher! Oh yeah, that expired last year. <laughs> Unplug after each use. Grasp the plug, okay? Not the cord, which sounds like something in a maternity ward of a hospital. Yeah, it's good advice actually. Yeah, but no, never grab the cord whilst your wife's giving birth. If using your grill for the very first time, it may emit a little smoke and odor, which will soon pass, don't we all? Just basically, hey, I'm a warm plate. I'm gonna get hot. You can cook your food on it until you're happy. Basically, all of the pressure is on us, folks. And if you don't know, I give my uh, gadgets away to Patreon followers. I sign them. We do uh, regular giveaways on Patreons for certain tiers. I also give them away to charity shops. Uh, and generally, if I can, I try and keep as many too for us because I, I love gadgets. I love them. It does look a bit like, wow, what's going on? Uh, what's this? What, what is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. You have the drip tray in here, which for bacon is going to get loads of uh, the fat and stuff out, which is which is brilliant. Uh, that will get quite dirty and smelly indeed, so we'll keep an eye on that. See that latch there? As we push that, that just opens that up. You've got these hinges either side. Very sturdy. <laughs> either side. But you can have one side down like that and fold that leg in. But this still, even though it's like that, that could easily fall down like that. So it doesn't stay locked. You either unlock it and it's like this and this can move. So I think no matter what you do, you should probably have it down like that just for a little bit of stability. Now it's this section that I'm gonna to refer to as the table tennis net, which on the thing had the bacon draped over it. This is removable and I don't think it gets hot at all. It's made from the same material as the base plates which will heat up. You can cook your bacon, hang it on there, and in the bottom there, can you see it's kind of sloped? I don't think there's a sort of much of a gradient. There might be like a one degree angle or something like that, where we'll find out where it should sort of go into there, collect the fat in the drip tray, but then at the same time, if you want, you can hang your bacon. We're not gonna hang the egg, but you can hang the bacon, drape it on there, and drop even more fat into it. I'm just gonna plug it down here, turn that on, and look. Oh, wow, that's amazing. I love that. Hopefully in a minute, it will start to warm and give off that lovely odor that we're so used to. I love the fact that you could be like, just clip it in and go, yeah, I'm just going to work with my trouser press. Oh no, it's not a trouser press. Boom, it is a thing that's warming up quite quickly. I've just read the instructions and it says that we do need to close this up whilst it preheats. 
That to me sounds a bit dangerous, but maybe it warms that central plate by doing that. The other thing, once the cooking lights are at the correct temperature, the blue light will go out. Okay, so this, this should all go red then. Brilliant. So effectively what you've got, you've got your, your two plates here with the legs that we would lower, which I guess are gonna maintain that heat and you can cook like the egg on on the picture, but you've got this central bit, our table tennis net, which is warming up too, a little bit like a pizza stone. That's kind of clever. I've sussed it. Now I know why they have, a, I don't know if that's their like brand thing. In a moment, when I open this, we are gonna drape the bacon on that net and then close it back up. So this will cook the bacon from either of the sides. That's one way of doing it. And the other way we had it set up, that's the open grill method. Uh, we're gonna do that to do our other cooking. So this basically the bacon is what that net is for. And as I pan around, the smoke has stopped and it is now fully red. Amazing. Woo, this feels hot. All right. So what we do is we take our bacon. I hope you can hear that. We're just gonna go for three rashes. We could probably space it out and got four. We then lift it up. Oh my gosh, that's very uneven. Ooh. Did you hear the increase in sizzle then? Wow. That is kicking out some serious heat. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. As the bacon cooks, we can't see anything what's going on there. I have no idea how well this is cooking. It is doing this, okay? It keeps going back and forth. Boom, boom. Press that button. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's that's pretty well done. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn the heat off of that. <laughs> it's sort of like gone half its size. I know bacon does that anyway, but it looks really poor and upset. Hmm, let's have a look. Uh, is this permanently stuck? <laughs> but I will say, look, there's no fat on that whatsoever. Let me just try and unfold one. Nah, it's hot. Ooh. I'm gonna cook another set of bacon. You don't need to worry about oven gloves when you first close it. To the way I would do it, hopefully. Basically what I mean is not like this. I mean, that's pretty, uh... I, I do like bacon like that, and I know a lot of you do, but I'm gonna see if I can just get that slightly softer vibe. Oh, there we go. Ooh, ooh, leave my oven glove. Oh, uh, see, you've got a nice char mark on it where it's just partly cooked. My favorite way. So that's how Mrs. B likes her bacon. That's how I like mine. Uh, there is a slight shimmery layer of fat still on there and the camera's probably not picking it up too well, but it has absorbed a little bit. So this is basically almost completely fat free. And this has, you know, most of it has gone. Hopefully it's in there, not on my worktop underneath. But to be honest with you, all the hassle of getting a frying pan out with the oil and all that, that did cook the bacon fairly safely and quickly. The crunchy bacon, Yep, that's nice. A really good crunch on that actually. So if you like your bacon like that, that's, uh, yeah, that's good. But if you like it a little softer like me, mmm, it actually tastes healthier. Is that, I'm actually really impressed by this. Let's check that drip tray. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, yeah, it's still quite warm. Can you see that? I mean, the fact that it's like this, I can pour it into a container, easy to dispose. If it cools down, that's gonna sort of solidify and be, yeah. But I'm actually really glad that that is in there and not in my arteries. Wow, that's quite fascinating. I wanna see if that goes solid. And I mean, it should, just to prove it. All right, so I'm over at my sink, washing up right now. I've got this plate and this cleans up like an absolute dream. But I have turned it off the electric so I can touch it and it needs to get wet anyway. These bits, now they're slightly cooler, they do not lift off. Um, I'll check the instructions, but if not the case, we can just clean that with soapy water. I hope. <laughs> and that is like a non-stick surface. That does come off really, really well. So, uh, let's try and cook a burger on it with the egg that it says on the uh, front there. I wonder if the egg will slope off. I just hope it doesn't run down that channel <laughs> into the drip tray. Yes! Come on! Stuff that. Ooh, nice click, like that, back in there. It is a bit like a game of battleships as well. Uh, we don't need our clean tray. We can put this to one side for that. This is the open grill territory. First thing I'm gonna do is just try and toast a brioche bun. Brioche buns are very much like the in thing at the moment. I've got this feeling that some people might watch this video in like 10 years and go, <laughs> do you remember them? That's kind of like what I'm doing right now, but also brioche buns. <laughs> remember that? Yeah. 
Maybe I should do a video on homemade brioche buns, but what I wanted to do was start with something fairly easy. It's got a machined cut edge on it, so it should be nice and flat. And what I want to try and do is just get a nice little char on there. And I love the fact. What? <laughs> fresh. Uh, I love the fact that I can just have it all going at one go like that. One's going to be for our burger. And if I don't ruin it, the other one will be for our little funky dessert thing I'll show you. Just while that is hopefully cooking, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. If they ever are, I will always tell you, which is probably why I can be, well, hopefully it stands out so open and honest about all the videos uh, that I do. But if they are watching and they would like to send me a South Korean car, perhaps they even have a complimentary bacon master under the bonnet. That slide into my DMs, yeah? Ha! <sighs> Yep, about 30 seconds later, I am happy with that colour. So, does it do more than bacon? Yes, it blooming well does. We're going to ramp it right up now to do the opposite. We're going to do a burger patty, which is going to take time, going to flip it, but I'm hoping to time it so we can get the burger, some more bacon, and an egg, and then cheese back on the patty, all in one go. Now that is cooking up. There is fat there. It's just cooking really quickly. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like a dartboard. Oh, it's cooking up a dream and the fat is coming out. I'm going to keep cooking this, but now let's try the bacon. I'm expecting this to kind of bubble up and ruffle because it's not clamped. Uh, see how it shrivels up. All right. And the bacon is taking a lot longer, which is good because it gives us time to do our egg. And if you want to make a bigger egg, basically crack two eggs into a bowl, but separate double the extra egg white and just remove a yolk, pour the white in first, then dollop the yolk in the middle. I've got to say, this is, this is doing well. I have just realized though, once we're done with it, if we put the tray back in, or even that might not even be needed. No, it won't be needed. We just close it up and all the fat, if it's still warm on those plates, should run down into our drip tray. This is pretty much there now. We're just gonna get some cheese to go on our burger. But look, just as I take this bacon off, all of that fat as before, which was falling off, if we tilt it at the angle, we can still get it there. But when it was draped vertically, it had already fallen in four, so I need to worry about it. Our gooey burger. <laughs> some of that bacon on top. And then a blooming big egg. Top it with your lid. Should we squeeze it down? Should we burst it? There we go. Oh, all done with a bacon master. <laughs> yes. All done with a trouser press, more like. Cooking on a trouser press was something I mulled over doing as a video. While well, I did some uh, cooking in a hotel room uh, on my car and with hair tongs, which I thought was basically a small version of a trouser press, but um, this really does open the imagination. If you're in a hotel room right now, go grab yourself some burgers and get cooking. That is incredible. And uh, just in case you're wondering, the burger is fully cooked through. Mm, not like some of the barbecues I've been to recently, but we'll name no names. <laughs> I mean, it does taste like a McMuffin, but it does show what other stuff you can do with it. Back once again with the bacon master. Right, let's make a very quick dessert with the brioche buns we've already toasted. This is actually a really nice dessert uh, that's quite nice to have at a barbecue, actually, if you've got all the heat going. I really love uh, charred fruit. Uh, now, pineapple, uh, with its sugar content, if you buy it in the rings like this, or ideally a fresh pineapple, uh, this is not gonna um, cook too fast, because I've let it cool down quite a lot but we can char and caramelize these pineapple rings. Serve that with some creme fraiche with the juice. Now I would normally just add standard lime juice, but we found out from the other day when we roasted lemons in our hacks video that that can actually increase the flavor. So I'm gonna actually try and char grill some limes and squeeze the juice of that uh, into the creme fraiche. Right in there, woo woo woo, that's awesome. But you will need to monitor this, these will cook quickly. Oh, you see that little bit of colour there? We kind of want that all the way around. So I've done that a teeny bit too early. We can always flip it again. There we go, look at that line. I'm taking that one off. We can flip this. Oh yes! I love this, this is awesome. Well there we go, cooked pineapple. Let me show you how we build it. Well, we walk away from here confidently to get our creme fraiche from the fridge and spill it on the floor. Clean your creme fraiche up. Put the pineapple down. Low fat creme fraiche in a bowl. Spoonful of pineapple juice straight from the tin 
and a good squeeze of lime juice. About half the lime normally I go for. Oh, we've got some charring in there as well. And a balance with the sweetness of the pineapple juice and the mildness of the creme fraiche should make it rather delicious indeed. Brioche bun lid, toasted. Stack it on top, fits it perfectly. Nice bit of creme fraiche in the middle. A little bit of lime zest on top. Feeling cheeky, stick some rum in with the creme fraiche. That is naughty. Now conveniently, Mrs. Barry has just got home. That is a brioche bun, pineapple, lime, cooked in a bacon mass to char grilled, all right? In a bacon mass. That is a bacon mass, that's what I, I called it. Mmm. Very nice. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I just realized I was gonna let Mrs. B try the bacon and it shoved it all in that burger. It's all in here. Yeah. It tastes a bit like a muffin, all right? Oh, look at that. Go on. Go on, my son. Good? Mm. All right. Well, folks, we have fully put mm. the Deiru Bacon Master, which is not the name of their car yet, as far as I know, to the test. And I actually do approve of this. It is a stonking little gadget. Tastes all right? Bacon's amazing. She loves her bacon. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of the gadget review videos here on the channel and all the others. If you try any of the recipes, including these, do send me photos and don't forget to subscribe for regular videos and smash that notification button. Cheers, guys. Happy wife, happy baking master. Bye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's mustache, goatee, maybe all three. Just having a little thought, folks. What else? Just a random open question. What else could you cook on this? Just want it maybe like pepperoni? Something flat? Bread? Okay, the random bonus scene that came to me and Mrs. B off camera just saying, what the hell is that in the fridge? Look, that's our fat. That's all that would have been eight. Scary times. Mrs. B. Yes. You've heard of flat bread? Yes. Have you heard of flat toast? No. Hopefully we've just invented it. <laughs> oh, one side is. No, it's just. Yeah. That's the thinnest piece of tape ha. ever. Ha. Ha. Oh, look at that. Well, we know it worked, so uh, let's raise a toast. And I actually did that as a best man speech. I was asked to say it. Bonus scene done. Nice one, guys.